How can we feed a growing population and still live within our means? In China, farmers who have faced this challenge for centuries have devised some ingenious solutions. Carp and silkworms have been farmed side by side for centuries. It's a simple but ingenious combination, which not only boosts the farmer's income, it also puts waste to use in a very productive cycle. From egg to cocoon, silkworms munch their way through so many mulberry leaves, they increase their body size by 10,000 times in just four weeks. This gargantuan feast creates a substantial amount of waste, which is used as food for the fish. The waste is also used as fertilizer on the banks around the pond to help the mulberry grow. And when the cocoons are spun, the silkworm pupa, which are rich in protein, are also fed to the fish. So, as the carp thrive on recycled waste in a fertile pond, the silkworms fertilize their own crops and the cycle repeats itself, providing the family with an income from silk and from a healthy population of fish. But these are no ordinary fish. Known as living fertilizer factories, these grass carp can eat up to 40% of their body weight in a single day, breaking down plants and organic waste that other species won't touch. And since they thrive on such a modest diet, they have very little impact on the environment. Come harvest time, they're shipped downstream to a market It's big business, and the markets are thriving. Each year, across China, over 10 million tons of carp are produced on farms like this. That figure alone exceeds the total amount of fish produced by any other country. It's a story of success in low footprint farming. But now, as more people move from the farms to the city, how will these traditions evolve? Ah 
Carp have great symbolic value in China. Carp jumps over Dragon Gate is an old and enduring story often told to young people to encourage them to work hard and aim high. Elusive and full of promise, the Dragon's Gate is found at the top of a waterfall cascading from a legendary mountain. The carp struggle against a powerful current to reach the gate, but only a few of them make the jump over the waterfall. Those who make the jump are transformed into a powerful dragon, a symbol of courage, perseverance and power. It's an inspiring story. But in China, as more people try to jump over the Dragon's Gate, what will the consequences be for farms like this? Do Wohenshuanzhengchenzhang my dream is to be a teacher. I want to use my knowledge to teach more and more people, to uh, help them open their eyes and uh, open their brain. Thank you.